Now, brothers and sisters, let me remind you once again of the good news of salvation, which I preached to you and which you welcomed and accepted and on which you stand by faith. By this faith, you are saved, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, and set apart for his purpose. If you hold firmly to the word, which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain, which is just superficially and without complete commitment, because, you know, you won't hold on to it. For I passed on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to that which the scriptures foretold, and he was buried, and that he was bodily raised on the third day according to that which the scriptures foretold, and that he appeared to Peter, Cephas, and then to the twelve. So, after that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, the majority of whom are still alive, but some have fallen asleep in death. Then he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. And last of all, as to one untimely, prematurely, traumatically born, he appeared to me also. For I am the least worthy of the apostles and not fit to be called an apostle, because I at one time fiercely oppressed and violently persecuted the church of God. But by the remarkable grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not without effect. In fact, I worked harder than all of the apostles, though it was not I, but the grace of God, his unmerited favor and blessing, which was with me. So whether it was I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you believed and trusted in and relied on with confidence. He goes on to talk about resurrection, which we'll talk about in the next reading. So he went out, left that part of the letter about where he was talking about women speaking in church and the speaking of tongues and all being done in order to what the point is, which is the gospel. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, his suffering for our sins, the sacrifice he made for to, to redeem us. Redeem, we hear that word a lot. It's tossed around all the time. But you also hear it in retail. You redeem this coupon for 25% off or $10 off or whatever or for a free, redeem this for a free gift. Well, Christ redeemed us for the free gift of salvation. He paid for it. He bought us back. He was, he's not a coupon, but you know what I mean. So that's my word for you today. My other is take care of yourselves. Listen to your body. A while back, I got COVID, but because I felt I, I needed to do something, partially with selfish reasons, partially was worried what people would say if I didn't do it. Um, I kept on going. I did not rest because I was worried about what people would say about me. I'm not doing my part. Or also, the other part of me was because I wanted my granddaughter to participate in something. And if I wasn't there, she might, she might get scared. Then I never got better. So I got over that COVIDness, and I went on and uh, went to the Southern Baptist Convention with our church group and I was sick the whole time but I ignored it I just took me some mucinex and I kept pushing through but I ended up by the third day of the conference I couldn't get out of bed I had bronchitis a sinus infection when I got back to home and went to my doctor the only reason he didn't put me in the hospital was because my oxygen levels were still good and I think that's my little granny jogging which exercises my muscles in my you know my lungs are good so he told me to stay home and rest for a week. Well, Teresa went back to work because I hadn't been at work for a week and there was stuff piled up. And once again, I was worried about what people would say. And of course, worried about, you know, income, but didn't get, just got worse. So I went back to the doctor that Friday again, or no, I went that, no, the Thursday. They said, it's taking you a long time to get better because you're not resting, but you have improved some. Go home and rest. So that's what I did. Went home and I slept a lot off and on. And today I have not coughed once. It's great. So listen to your bodies, people, especially the older you get, because it's easy to think you're Superman or Superwoman. It can do everything you can that you did when you were 16 or 25 but, and keep up. But you, even if you're in good shape, it's still, even the healthiest people need a break. And I balance a lot of irons in the fire. I mean, my I get poked up fun at by my youngest son because I don't have a high paying job, but I have a college degree. 
I'm where God wants me at the moment because if I had a very demanding job, I couldn't be home to balance some of the things that I balance. Um, in fact, during that week I was sick, other people got sick, you know, in the house, but they recovered quicker. However, one person in the house uh, forgot to eat. And um, when you forget to eat and you take medication for your glucose, bad things happen. So I can't happen to come home and happen to check and save someone's life. So that's why I ignore myself because I, I don't have time for me. And part of me thinks of myself as not worth keeping care of because I've always kind of looked at myself in a sad kind of way, you know call it self-esteem call it what you will i don't understand why god does the things he does i don't know why he has me in the position he has me in in life i'm half a century plus one and to me my life has not made any in, other than saving somebody's life the other day <laughs> but, but um you know anyway listen to your bodies listen if you're sick rest don't worry about what other people think they're not paying your bills. They're not taking you to the doctor. Uh, they're not keeping care of your family. If you're sick, maybe that's also the Lord telling you to slow down and realize that you need to, to breathe as well. Just my little thought for the day. So everyone stay healthy. If you're sick, try not to spread it. Rest. See a doctor. Take your vitamins and eat right and exercise, of course. Y'all have a wonderful day.